Deputy Derry Keating. Thank you very much, Ciarán Corla, and I'd like to thank Deputy Hannigan for this uh, time-sharing arrangement. Ciarán Corla, this is the very first time I've had the opportunity to speak. As a newly elected member of the 31st Dáil, I'd like briefly to thank all of those who've helped me to come to this particular point in my life, my family, my close friends, and indeed uh, my party. Uh, in a very special way, I'd like to thank the people of Dublin Midwest and express my sincere gratitude to them for sending me here today as their talk to Dáil. In the early stages of this 31st dollar, our main focus of attention has been on our economy, our national debt, banks, emigration, and of course, unemployment. However, one of the hidden effects uh, of our failing economic circumstances is the growing problem of suicide. I believe that the issue of suicide and self-harm is of such importance that I place this crisis of suicide in our society alongside the national crisis of our country's economic future. I know that now, for the very first time in our history, my personal as well as my political belief is that we are preparing to directly confront the issue of suicide in Ireland. Previously, we weren't even prepared to talk about suicide, just skirt around the edges, perhaps owing to the stigma associated with suicide and the message of failure. It often struck me when watching expensive advertising on issues such as, for example, food safety, health promotion, among others, that we make little or no effort to advertise suicide prevention, while many hundreds of very necessary lives are lost so unnecessarily in Ireland uh, each year. From an economic perspective too, let us consider the impact of a single suicide event. And for a moment, let us think about the many people, the immediate and extended family members, working colleagues, social friends, neighbours, etc., that are affected by each suicide event in Ireland. And then consider the impact on our economy as a result of the many thousands of people who have died in Ireland by suicide over very recent years. The cost of suicide has been estimated at 900 million euro each year. Suicide is hurting us more than ever. The numbers are increasing and the anxiety is rising. Nationally, suicide is casting a shadow, but locally, it is piercing the heart of every community uh, in Ireland, each and every parish in Ireland today. Internationally, other countries are tackling youth suicide successfully, including Australia, Scotland and England. At local level too, projects including Pieta House, which has been referred to, has made remarkable strides owing to a vision for a better future and a determination to save more lives of the most vulnerable in our society. And I too would like to, uh, to welcome our Chief Executive, Joan Freeman, and our Chairman, uh, Joe Houghton, and his wife, Penny, to Dáil Éireann today. And I stand here as a very proud director of the charity, Pieta House. Let us for a moment imagine that there was no Pieta House. Let us just imagine the forever darkness for the al almost 4,000 people who have visited Pieta House in its short five-year existence. Well, the good news today in Dáil Éireann is that there are almost 4,000 people alive having been to Pieta House. This is an, an, a brand, a new model that works. It focuses its services on that very crucial area of intervention. A new concept of care uh, where people from all walks of life and from all corners of Ireland visit Pieta House every day. The youngest being six and the eldest 83. As we go forward with a new brand of vision and belief, it is of critical importance for a sustained and a healthier Ireland that a suicide crisis centre be never more than 100 kilometres from each Irish citizen. And I look forward to that challenge during my time as a TD in, in Dáil Éireann. In doing so, working with the government, and of course particularly with the, the minister, and the opposition, in sharing that journey with my fellow elected constituency representatives, Minister Francis Fitzgerald and Deputies Joanna Tuffy and Robert Dowds. And in moving forward from what I believe was the most powerful statements of all when the Taoiseach ended his pre-election party leader's debate on the subject of suicide, and when the Taoiseach himself responded in what was a very compassionate and yet in a very determined way on the subject of suicide in this House last week. 
And when now, at the early stages of the 31st Dáil, the matter is being debated at length today, and as I understand it, additional time has been allocated uh, next week. Cairncorla, there are almost 430,000 people on the live register and forced immigration of more than 2,000, mainly young people, every week. We do have more than one national emergency. However, what we must never lose sight of is that while each deputy can become smothered with statistics, it can be, and often is, the individual experiences in life, the individual people that can change our lives. And I recall one such life-changing experience when during the general election campaign, while canvassing outside Clondalkin Parish Church one Sunday, a lady passed me by. And I noticed that she moved away from me to avoid me. There was no eye contact, there was no words. And it was at that point later, that very point was the life-changing experience for me when that lady returned. And at that moment, and indeed later on during the day, she told me her story. A story where every night Margaret goes to bed and wishes that God took her. Because she has no money. Because she has no heat. And she was one person that I now know of went to bed early Christmas Day because she didn't have heat. For me, it is important that I maintain contact with Margaret. It is of critical importance that we as a doll and we as a society show care for those most at risk in our country. In conclusion, I say this for my own part, and I reiterate my promise to do all that I can and to work with all those here in the interest of suicide prevention. I acknowledge the work of the Minister, I acknowledge the work of Deputy Dan Neville, and I look forward to playing my part as a team in doing all that I can to save the lives of those most at risk. And if by the end of this current doll I've achieved nothing more than that, well then I will be satisfied. Thank you, Kieran Corley. I'd like to congratulate both Deputy uh, Hannigan and Deputy Keating on your maiden speeches. I'd now like to call on Deputy Gerry Adams.